All right, so we're gonna put the drone down. Let's just see how this one acts. See, he's right here. You'll see him real good here in a second. Uh -oh. Got him. <laughs> All right, guess what, guys? We are at my favorite lake in the world. Guess what that is? What is my favorite lake in the world? Okay, you're thinking, you're thinking. Maybe I'll drop a comment right now. Pause the video, drop a comment. For everybody that said Champlain, you are correct, my friends. We are at Lake Champlain right now. And we're gonna go out and uh, we're gonna have some fun. We're getting ready for St. Lawrence, but we're up here a day and a half early. We're gonna film a TV show here tomorrow. It's dead slick calm. The sun's out. Let's go see if we can find some spawners. And we're going to take the underwater submarine drone. That's right. We're gonna take the power ray out there and try to get some epic underwater shots of fish eating baits underwater close up. You see what we're gonna try it. We're gonna see what happens. Let's go have some fun. Dude, you don't realize how special this lake is for me. I mean, maybe, I mean, a lot of people do know how special this lake is for me. But this just, it's just awesome. And we might find them on beds. I think we are gonna find them on beds. But goodness gracious. Oh yeah. I'm excited. And I'm excited about getting the, the submarine underwater and seeing what these fish look like underwater and seeing how they like react to every little thing. I mean, we can see them with our eyes, but seeing them underwater and watching them, it's gonna be pretty special. And then uh, if we can get to the McCoy catching a few on bed, I think that's just gonna be awesome. And if we get Mac to do a little, little crazy scream, catching the big one, he's gonna scream crazy. Like several things going on in this video today. You're not gonna wanna miss it. How awesome would that be? Have a house up here, be able to just, just, just fish, just fish all over the place. I'm go for this one. How do you expect me to? I can't follow. I'm just messing with him because he's always running out of shots. <laughs> You're just running circles around the boat. I was like, how do you expect me to follow you? You're just running, walking in circles. I'm like, this is I terrible. I was so about getting out of the shot. I just kept chasing him. The best stretch is up that way. Yeah. They're a little crazy. Yeah. Got him. <laughs> it's your first sight bass. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Your very first sight bass. Oh, that's very close. That's awesome. That's good. I'm gonna put your hand on his belly. There you cool. go. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Something like that. <laughs> Something like that. Nice. Cool. You did it. All by yourself. Cool. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Objective number one accomplished. We got him first sight bass. And it's cold. It's, it's chilly. Really? Yeah. Back to the well, that's the wrong way. All right. Let me grab this drone. Look at that thing. This thing looks like Eve from, uh, what is that movie? With the little Wally? Wally? Yeah. Is that the movie? It looks like E from Wally. Yeah. He's looking at the drone. Like literally looking at the drone. There he is. He sees it now. He's right there. You're pointing right at him. Oh, he's over there. Right. Yeah. It's all over it. I cannot wait to see what it looked like with him messing around. Look at him spitting up things. That's cool, guys. Look at that fat one. That's a three something. The shoulders on him. That was cool. Cannot wait to see myself, which you already know what it looks like because y'all were watching it, and that was pretty awesome. We're just playing around with this drone, obviously. It's not anything, just so you know, it's not anything we're gonna use in a tournament. We're just having fun with this. It's just, it's just, it's a toy, all right? Great little, great little toy right there. Just playing around, but this isn't something we're gonna use in the tournament, obviously. But it is fun to just kind of 
you know, kind of like a science project to see what these fish act like underwater, see how they react to it. Pretty cool. All right, guys, before we get too far into this video, I want to say a huge shout out to our sponsor of this video, and that is Anchor. More specifically, the Anchor Powerhouse 757. You know, you say to yourself, well, what do you need a big old battery like this? Well, first of all, we use a lot of the Anchor products in all of our travels from the small batteries, but Anchor has come up with this one right here. And believe it or not, if you're into camping, big trips like we do, fishing trips, big road trips, and you need power while you're on the road, then you need to check out the Anchor system. 1,500 watts of pure power in this thing. And what's awesome about it is this thing is built tough, guys. I mean, look at this thing. We travel on the road, we're in the truck editing, we're at places like we are now at a tournament. We don't have the, uh, sometimes the ability to charge while we're on the road, especially in the truck as we drive back and forth or in the boat. What we've used this for is when we're on a shoot on the water and we need to conserve batteries because we shoot all day long, we're able to plug in all of our battery chargers, our drone batteries into this right here and charge this while we're on the boat fishing. When I've been in my big boat offshore down in the Keys, I'm able to take this battery along and charge all of our gear on the boat while we're shooting. So we have a fresh bunch of batteries all the time and that's important. Now, camping, doing little things like that. You have a light right here. You can take this on a camping trip. You can plug in all your AC outlets here. You have all your USBs, your USB-Cs. You have a car socket right here as well. Another thing that's awesome about this thing is it charges extremely fast, guys. It can recharge from zero to 80% in just one hour. It has hyper-flash technology inside of this thing, so it recharges using a bi-directional inverter, all this fancy stuff, but it's this is like above average stuff, okay? 1,500 watts of output power, that's big, okay? So, you know, you can do like, it has enough power here for like a three to five day trip, or if you have like an outage, okay? So for me, living in Florida during hurricane season, it, every year we get some type of either direct hit or near miss, we lose power, we, we need to charge our phones, we need to charge things, and so this thing right here is gonna come in handy. You're not gonna have to worry about a noisy generator. Also, it has a five year guarantee. That's peace of mind. The powerhouse has the most advanced long lasting batteries on the planet, guys. These are the premium LFP batteries. They remain in a healthy state even after 3,000 complete charges, okay? That's six times longer battery lifespan than the industry average, by the way. Check this out, it's a great gift idea. Uh, we've talked about it a couple times already in some of the other videos. The Anchor Powerhouse 757, pretty awesome deal. Thank you, Anchor, for sponsoring this video. Thank you, Anchor, for making great batteries and great products. We use your stuff all the time. We're gonna keep using this thing. Let's get back to the video. <laughs> All right, McCoy, your turn to catch one. <laughs> oh. Oh. That's not good. The pressure. Yeah, keep doing that. Yeah, he just likes this. <laughs> That's right. Nice. Black hair jig, he got all over that thing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was cool. First catch of the hair jig. Yeah. <laughs> he didn't even let it hit the bottom. Leave it in the water, leave it in the water. Go. Push you in right now. Go. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I got him. That was the worst landing I've ever oh seen. Oh my gosh. So what's crazy is, like he wouldn't bite this very well, and that was natural color, and a little Ned rig. Now that fish has been caught before, look at him. See all the teeth marks, all the hook marks? Yeah. He's in good shape, but he's just been caught. Nice. Cool. Very nice. Now how big do you think that is? That's two, two something. Two something? Yeah, just two something. Cool. See your release. Cool. All right, so we're gonna put the drone down. Let's just see how this one acts. See, he's right here. And uh, you can't hardly see him because of the ripples. You'll see him real good here in a second. That is so cool. 
guys. Look at that. That's awesome. So cool. It was so neat to see. And I'll tell you what was interesting about this fish is that the first time he bit it, he bit it so quick. And I'm not sure if we captured it right, but he bit it so lightly and so fast he swam out with it. I never felt him. I saw him swimming with it, never felt it. A single thing. Pitched back in there and got him. Thank you, dude. Pretty cool with the drone. That's for sure. All right. That was awesome. That was awesome. All right. I think we're getting some cool stuff. There he is. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Little black hair jig, dude. Can't hardly. Can't hardly beat it. He's been caught a bunch too. So you could tell when they've been caught like that, or someone caught him. And uh, you know that heals up. They they get a little pressure this time of the year, but. We all throw them back. These things are resilient too. Strong, powerful, beautiful, of course. They're my favorite. Smallmouth, just my favorite. Just because I don't get a chance to fish for them often. They're so aggressive, they fight hard. I just, I just, I just, it's so much fun. It's like total opposite of what I do all the time at Okeechobee. Largemouth fish is shallow in the grass. Coming up here doing Champlain, smallmouth, deep, clear water, spinning rods, it's like totally. Totally opposite, but also very, very cool. Very, a lot of fun. I'm gonna run out to the boy and see if you see him. Oh gosh, there's one. <laughs> He's like right on the camera, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 there he is, there he is. All right, get your position. He's right in front of it, huh? Right. He's right at the tank right now. Yeah, cap at it. He's at the drone? I can see him, man. That's really good. Oh. Got him. That is awesome. Look at that one, dude. That's a fat one. See, look, he bit so quick because there's no there's no hook marks in his mouth. Like he hasn't been caught. That's his first time this year. Beautiful small mouth. Thank you, buddy. All right. Let's bring something. Oh, got him. <laughs> got him. That's a big one. Dang, dude, that's a real nice one. You want to land him? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> that's a good one, dude. Nice. That's probably my biggest smallmouth. Honestly, so? I think that's my, my PV smallmouth. Really? Too. Probably. That was cool. Just flipping dock for the hair jig. Yeah. Dude. Oh, God. But I got the best of him. I got the best of him, mate. Right here, McCoy. Right here. Watch this. Watch this. Don't. <laughs> That's about a two and a half pounder. There, there's another one. That's a good one. Look at that one. Oh, he's mad. He's mad. He swallowed it. Go, go. Two and two docks. That was awesome. A lot of times what you can do is, you know, a little ripple on the water like this. You can't see the bed. Just throw where you think a bed should be. Like if you just envision a bed and, and here's the deal, the, the fish aren't going to make a bed way under the dock because it's always shady way under the dock. They want like the corners where there's, like this time of day, there's still a little bit of light hitting it. And just throw your bait in that area, blind casting, and you'll catch fish. Those two docks right there had two nice fish on it. I'm sure the fish were spawning, but just couldn't see them. You got one? Yeah. Oh, too short. <laughs> <laughs>
Come off right now. <laughs> I got him. Boys, boys first sight fish, possibly his uh, PB. Uh, we did underwater drone catches, and we got the squeal that we've been wanting to get out of, out of, out of him right there, which is good. So guys, nothing better than being here on Lake Champlain. I mean, golly, caught about 25 sight fish today. Got to play around with this drone. That was so much fun. And I tell you what, when we when we do these northern swings, I always have to swing by Champlain, and it did not disappoint. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, awesome day today, and we will see you on another video coming soon. Appreciate all the support, guys. Do me one huge favor. Share the video out. Share it out to as many people as you can, and also be sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification to get a notification for all the videos we drop. So thanks for all the support, guys. We'll see you. Bam!